Marvel Spider-Man 2 is one of the games of the year, and every great game deserves great glitches. From a Naruto running Spider-Man to Venom honouring Black Panther's Wakanda Forever salute. Oh, and we also find the whereabouts of Rhino, and let's visit the Statue of Liberty too. Here are 20 glitches and out of bound secrets in Spider-Man 2. Let's start with the bicycle, which can be found in the open world at this location just north of the bridge in Queens. Hop on with Miles or Peter to cruise around the city freely. It will despawn after travelling too far, which confirms it's not supposed to be here, but it's pretty cool all the same to see the web heads having fun free time. Ok, now let's completely break that bike, head towards the nearest subway entrance and ride down it. Doing this will cause your character to glitch and return above ground while the bike stays underground. And now your arms are a bit different. Running can make you look like you should be in an anime, or even worse, this will happen. Spider-Man can still emote and fight in this mode, and don't worry about reloading your save, the glitch fixes itself soon after. I next wanted to know if Venom could ride that bike, but first we need to get him free from his mission. When you reach this part in the story, look towards scaling a building, which can be quite difficult as most buildings can be glitched through and then you're trapped inside like this. I suggest using this building here and scaling all the way up to the top. And now we have another issue, there is an automatic invisible barrier which forces Venom back into the bounds of the mission. To get past this we just need a bit of momentum, so run between between the two barrier points up here until Venom is free. Jump down to start free roaming. The first thing I tried is to see if the big man can swim. And yes, no, I honestly can't tell. Ok back over to that bicycle and check it out. Venom can indeed ride the bike. It's a mess but mechanically he is riding it. Venom is a real New Yorker. It definitely is broken but it's something everyone should see at least once. A common glitch in the game is thanks to the sheer amount of suits we have on offer. By changing between them quick enough, a locked suit can be accidentally triggered. But instead of wearing that suit, we look like this. A cube of tofu. This glitch will definitely crash your game if done for too long. But check it out, spider cube in action. Beautiful wings and combat, but the real highlight is carrying an NPC. Let's start a petition today for spider cube to be in the next spider verse movie. The cube glitch can go further when transitioning to scenes where Peter and Miles are in their civilian clothing. Like this, check it out, Miles becomes a floating head. We know he technically can become transparent, so let's call this a super ability and his family don't seem to mind at all. I'm sure you visited the Wakanda embassy with Miles and given a tribute to Black Panther, a very touching moment which I'm now going to break for you. Instead of walking to that interaction spot on foot, instead crawl up the wall and onto the shelter above. Now you're upside down, hit the emote again. Upside down Wakanda forever. As it's Spider-Man, it actually looks like it's intended. But sadly, your game is now completely glitched and getting down from here is tougher than it looks. And worse still, the game becomes unplayable. But it's strangely captivating too. I think you know what I had to do next. I had to take Venom down there to see if he would show respect to the Wakandan embassy on Bozeman Way. And speaking of Bozeman Way, the tribute to Chadwick Bozeman, the street signs, cannot be broken. Well they can, but the sign stays in one piece. Now that is real respect. Ok, the moment you've been waiting for, let's try the salute. It totally works! Venom hits the Wakanda Forever salute and it's beautiful. The next one was so unexpected. My mission was simple, somehow bring Haley up here to pay her respects to the Wakandan embassy. But little did I know how difficult that would be. Getting Haley out of bounds was remarkably easy. During her mission there is an elevator section, and up here simply use the toolbox to get up onto the tool bench and then walk over the edge of the building to freedom. Huzzah! Then the long, slow trek to the right location began. Because Haley can't jump, Haley can't sprint, Haley can't swing. Luckily though, Haley has the ability to throw stones at things, which I did to many of the cars. It helped pass the time immensely. Long story short, Haley arrived and I was certain she'd give the cross arm salute, yet this happened instead. Haley refuses. She shakes her head. In actuality, the animation attempts to begin, but instead freezes Haley in place and she can only move her head left and right. I don't think she's deliberately disrespecting Wakanda like that. Whilst we're up here anyway, I also ran Haley up to the bike to check she can ride it, and ride she can. Did you enjoy that Haley? Nope. 
On my travels around New York, I noticed that the buses are slightly too wide for the roads they occupy. And by repeatedly visiting their typical locations, it's possible to trigger this glitch. A car has spawned and taken up the same space the bus is already in, creating this technical marvel. I think we found the original prototype transformer. Oh, it's so cool. A super easy glitch to see can be found during your time at the fairground with Harry and MJ. You'll see many seats to park your butt on for a conversation. Be sure to choose this one here and if Harry is in the right place, this will happen. Harry gets a little bit too close and his head totally bugs out. It doesn't last long, things will fix themselves when you stand back up. Next on my hit list was the desire to visit the Statue of Liberty. In a normal game, we are automatically forced back onto the play area so we can never get to her close up. I even tried going under the map using a broken spot from an older Spider-Man game to get there, but nah, it didn't work. I'll tell you more about that spot later. The next method is to use a train and use it to be pushed out of the bounds of the world. The best spot to do this is on this bridge here. Simply wait for a train and keep spamming backwards on the dodge button to use the momentum of the train to push you out of bounds. And that's the hardest part done. It's a simple slide and glide all the way down to the Statue of Liberty now, making sure we stay away from the main island. And voila, we've made it to the Statue of Liberty. It should be noted that all this down here is like a mirage. There is no collision here, so Spider-Man can literally pass through any of these objects. There are some trees though to allow Peter or Miles to get extra height for a few sneaky selfies with the big green girl. She isn't high resolution at all, but we can visit the Statue of Liberty in Spider-Man 2. Mission accomplished. This out of bounds method can be used to look anywhere on the map. By traveling thousands upon thousands of meters away, you'll find tiny cities and 2D greenery that look so amazing from far away, but look like this when close up. And for science, I kept going all the way to the end, and eventually you'll be stuck in an endless ocean and our Spider-Man vanishes, straight up gone. The next out of bounds secret deserves credit. A dude on Reddit found this first. I've no idea how to say this name. I'll go for clicks in. Hidden on the island is a secret room with a prototype of Craven's lair. Down here we can find his throne and behind it are the heads of four of the Sinister Six. Here's how you get to see it yourself if you want to. Swing over to this location on the map and until it's patched, there is a spot where Peter and Miles will fall through it. From here, we need to travel north. Be careful not to swing too low on these parts or you'll hit the death bar. You'll soon stumble on this underground location. Maneuver around to find this opening and then barrel straight in there. Crawl along the pipes until you reach this location here. And here's the main issue. It's a solid wall. No Spider-Man can enter this zone. And that's where Clicksin's big brain comes in. By using the photo mode and shimmying the camera through the tiniest of gaps here, you'll find Craven's lair. His throne is surrounded by skulls and his trusty low-res spear. And here's the money shot. Rhino and friends have been stuffed and turned into trophies. If you finish the game, you'll know that Rhino isn't even part of the story at all, which suggests this is either a joke during development or a very different storyline was planned for Alexi. This might be my favourite out of bounds secret ever. Finally, be sure to visit the basketball courts at Visions Academy and throw those meatballs to duplicate them. One bounces away as the other one is embedded in the wall that you throw it at. Weird, eh? That's got to be patched very soon. Anyway, that's 20 glitches and out-of-bound secrets in Marvel's Spider-Man. I hope this was some use to you. Hi, madam. You're awesome. It's been a pleasure. See you next time.